You there? Hello? Do you all set headset died? It keeps right. like going beep, 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 beep. Piece of <laughs> can never buy one of these. Useless. I'm gonna yeet this off the cliff. <laughs> it's proper f it's, 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 When I turned it off, it goes boop, 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 boop. Goodbye. Don't know if you heard that, but George's Senna's died because it rained for 30 seconds and Senna's can't deal with any form of weather. Uh. Of course, a packed or edge sound. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. It's morning where I am, but it'll be evening for you. As you would all know very, very well, I had a Senna 30K. It's the previous flagship communications device from Senna. I had endless problems with it like i hated it like passionately hated it it died constantly it took ages to connect to anyone even if we'd been paired within three feet of each other with nothing else around it would not work it would die instantly in the rain some of you have had no issues at all with yours and i am jealous <laughs> Me and George bought a twin pack. Dad bought another one to go to Scotland with us before. He had the same issues. Brooker, my other mate, who you guys probably haven't seen that often because he never comes out on the bikes. Um, he had issues with it. I returned it, I got another pack. Oh, it was just endless issues. Anyway, I finally upgraded. I now have this beast. This is the Cardo Pack Talk Edge. It's a new iteration of the Cardo Pactor Bold, and I've had this model for about four or five months now. I won't spoil it too much before we get into the review, but this is exactly what I wanted the Senna to be, and this is exactly what the Senna claimed to be, but it actually is. So let's get into it, and I'll tell you what I think of it five months in. This is the Cardo. It's really slim line, it's very light. As you can see, it's quite thin. Uh, it's way thinner than the old Pactalk Bold, which uh, I think just looked a little bit chunky on the side of a helmet. It has one rolling wheel here, and it has three buttons, which you can probably just about see. On the back, you have a small rubber port, and it gives you a USB-C charger. Really like the fact that they've gone to USB-C. It's been rumored that they're gonna make all European chargers USB-C, which would be fantastic because I'm so bored of taking 300 different types of charging lead on, away on a trip with me. This is the base plate, so they give you two different versions. You have a clamp one, which I'll stick on screen, and you have this one. This is the stick-on one. The clamp one wasn't bad, 
personally, I found it moved a little bit when uh, the Cardo wasn't on it. It, was just, it would only move a little bit back and forth, but it didn't feel incredibly tight. Now, if you aren't already aware, this is an Arai Tour X4, which is like an adventure style helmet. Although it looks relatively flat, it's got contours everywhere. It's just like, you can see there's a bump here, there's a bump there that runs all the way up there. There's obviously a line that goes up there. With all the, there's just contours everywhere. This sticky pad works fine. It's like, you can see it is, bang on there it is not going anywhere i've never had any issues with that mounting it into the helmet and the wires and everything is exactly the same as it is with every other comms unit pretty much so i'm not going to bore you with all that so you can see there is five pins there and there is just a connection point there this is magnetic so that's literally it and you can't move that that is not going anywhere and then to get it off you press this point here Pesh that down and she slides forward. That is fantastic. You can see, although it's still quite a substantial bulk on the side of the helmet, it's way less than the old packed up bold, which probably used to come out like this much further. Phone pairing, GPS pairing, bike pairing. There's an app which seems pretty good to be fair. It's the same as every other connectivity app. Connecting it to your phone, pretty simple what you can do if you roll on the wheel backwards you can have bike connectivity and gps connectivity so the way i've got this set up is i've got my phone connected to the bike and i've got the cardo connected to the bike and then the garmin is connected to my phone so i've got garmin and garmin and bike connected to my phone cardo connected to the bike and then i use the bike as the control now the issue i've run into with all sort of communications well center and cardo both ways I haven't worked out a way of doing it really well yet, is that you've got four input devices. You've got the phone, Cardo, the Garmin, and the bike all wanting to be the input device. And what I mean by that is telling it whether it's gonna change song or call someone or whatever. I found that if I connect my phone to the Cardo, that then causes more issues than it solves. So my phone and my Cardo are not connected. Radio on 106.9. Now with the Cardo, the button presses are a little bit of a faff. The center was way easier to work out because it literally just had one button on the back, one on the top, and then a big jog wheel that you could press and all that sort of stuff. The Cardo has got the jog wheel, but it's also got three buttons. You press those three buttons in certain orders, it does different things, and you hold it for seven seconds or five seconds. It's a bit of a faff. The way Cardo get around that is you say, hey Cardo, music on or hey cardo radio on or hey cardo whatever and that works really well occasionally it's a bit crap in recognizing stuff so i have to say hey cardo a few different ways sometimes but the way i check that is if i go hey cardo radio on it will always turn on without fail so having the voice commands outweighs the like the issue with pressing all the different buttons in different ways grouping initiated searching for group pairing it with other devices is pretty quick and simple pretty much all the connectivity on this cardo is aimed towards dmc rather than bluetooth you can also pair this one to the packtalk bold the packtalk edge has to be the group owner and then all the other packtalks join in when you have made those groups it is instant to join it is so good so george and i have a group we go for rides most weekends or every other weekend or whatever when we're within range and both of our cardos are on they connect instantly like absolutely instantly no button presses nothing it just connects straight away when we went to ireland my dad was obviously not part of that group we had to set up a second group with dad included but again in the morning all turn on our cardos they just connect straight away it didn't matter whether my bike was on or not it connected instantly which is beautiful you there hello range i'll put in a clip now from ireland where we did a bit of a test on the range quite frankly it's been really good you do drop in and out of range if i'm really far ahead but with the dmc it bounces off of each person so if i'm if george is two miles away dad's about sort of 500 meters in front of him i've got mark from leeds then pete english and then i'm up the front there's no way on earth that i'd be able to connect to dad right at the back it sort of leapfrogs off each person to make sure we're all connected that's really good if one of one of you goes out of range of everyone else as soon as they're back in range it reconnects faultlessly right ladies and gentlemen this is a very impromptu part of the video but can you see dad all the way down there you see those light 
Let me uh, actually get my phone out. See him all the way over there. That's Dad. Can you say I can see you waving on my phone? <laughs> that is how far he is, and we are still connected beautifully clearly. And we could easily go even further because he was around that corner and we were still connected. That's Cardo for range. So as you can see, he was pretty far away, which is really I mean, it's pretty useful, isn't it? Let's be honest. And I also am and wet on the inside a lot. The one big benefit of the pack dock over the Senna is that it's waterproof. Uh, we had some really, really heavy rain in Ireland for like a solid three or four hours. Heavy rain didn't have a single issue, so that's perfect. Whether the Senna says it's water resistant or not, the difference is if this dies from water ingress, Cardo will replace it, Senna won't. So that's kind of where you're at. Oh look, changed angle to keep you all interested. Realised I took it off the helmet, let me just quickly put it back on. Done. <laughs> Battery status, 75%. Battery life is, I mean, it, it lasts a day easily on a charge. The other thing that's quite nice about it is every time you turn it off, it tells you what battery percentage it is. So whether it's full, 75, 50 or 25%. So once you're at 25%, I think it get, does another warning at around 10%. And then like it gives you another couple of warnings before it turns itself off. So it's very easy to know when it needs charging and when it doesn't. Now the next one, music quality. As standard, they come with the 40 mil speakers, I think they are. They are behind the pads in my helmet. I also wear earplugs and this is a, I mean, I've got goggles on rather than a visor. And going down the motorway, I have no issues hearing it. It is always loud enough. I've got the bass booster type thing on and it seems really nice. There's not a lot of depth to the sound. Well, as clear as you're gonna get whilst you, you're being battered by wind. As I've mentioned a couple of times, sitting on this bike on the motorway with the clip on screen, I don't get a lot of wind. The big difference for me is actually when I listen to George. On George's bike, George has got a Tiger 900 Rally Pro picture here somewhere. With that, it's got the stock screen. George is about 6'1", 6'2", so he gets full blast in the face from wind. With the Senna 30K, George could not hear a single thing I said over 45, 50 mile an hour. Whether he wore earplugs or whether he didn't, he could not hear me. So we always had to wait until it was under 40 mile an hour before we could actually talk. These we can do definitely only 70 mile an hour on the motorway. He's getting full blast from the wind and I can hear him clearly, he can hear me clearly. The microphones are really good at turning off when there's a lot of wind noise and they're not talking. A lot of the time when you're on mesh, you can listen to music, you can listen to radio and it just dips the volume when someone else talks and then it goes back up when they stop talking, which is, I mean, it's just, it's just well thought through. And I think one of the things I said in Ireland is the Pack Talk Edge does exactly what Cardo say it's gonna do within reason. There's obviously a little bit of disparity in the range. They obviously test it in perfect conditions. However, it's very close. With Senna, you are promised this and you, it delivers this. So it's sort of okay, but it's always just a bit disappointing. Uh, yeah, just go and buy one. It's pretty sweet, if I'm honest. I feel like I've rambled a lot in this video and I feel like I've just talked at you, so I do apologize, but it's a video on a comms unit. It's not exactly exciting, is it? If you've got a pack talk Bold, unless it is an old device and it's starting to go a bit crap, there's not a huge amount of benefit to upgrade to this. It's like, it's just a bit better. If you've got a Senna and it works fine, hang on to it. This is better in my opinion, but that's because of the crap that I went through with my Senna. At the moment, my channel's not big enough for getting Cardo discounts or anything like that. So I wait until I get the discount because then I'll get commission off it. Cheers, mate. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me. A little bit of a boring video, but maybe I'll jazz it up somehow. I don't know. Definitely recommend it. Does everything I want it to. Uh, yeah, just go and buy one. It's pretty sweet, if I'm honest. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye. Battery status, 50%. Ah. Uh.